Animal Facts Every summer, we endure the onslaught of mosquitoes that assail us, draining our bodies of precious life essence. It irritates us to no end, being treated like a goddamn soda fountain for these swamp flies. The thought of their stupid needle lips plunging through our skin like a giant bubble tea preemptively makes our skins itch. But no matter what precautions we take, these flying syringes find a way to dine and dash, without leaving any tips. They come when you least expect them, and scurry away before you notice. The mosquitoes employ guerrilla warfare to leave tracks of bumpy rashes across your body, making it look eerily similar to a battlefield raised by napalms. Even when you wise up to the mosquitoes' methods, they're capable of switching tactics on the fly. For example, you go on a date and find instant chemistry with the other person. You go out a few more times, bring them back to your place, and when the mood strikes, you seal the deal. In the morning, you find yourself alone in your bed, itching from head to toe. It turned out that your date was a swarm of mosquitoes pretending to be your ideal partner. You're heartbroken, but mostly, you're itchy and anemic after feeding thousands of these bugs. On one occasion, a man answered his door to find a pizza delivery guy on his front porch. He told him that he got the wrong address, and that he didn't order any pizza. But the guy told him to just take it, said it's on the house. Not one for turning down free food, the man took the box of pizza inside. And when he opened it, he was immediately attacked by a swarm of mosquitoes who plunged their stupid faces into his veins. The man was comatose for days, before he was woken up by his mother who happened to be in town. And when he came to, he felt weak and frail. With the help of his mother, it took him another couple of days to return to Norm. But as soon as he regained his health, his mother took off her mask, revealing that she was the same swarm of mosquitoes that assaulted him. He was duped once again, and that hurt his pride. The man went comatose for another week, and this time, he woke up through the sheer power of hatred and thirst for revenge. The man dragged himself to his garage and didn't leave for weeks until he built himself an armor. After making a few minor adjustments, he donned his titanium suit and began to track down his assailants. Deep in the humid swamp, he found his targets congregating in the middle of a green lake infested with algae. He engaged a propulsion system to fly above the water and cast a wide net to trap his blindsided enemies. The man taunted the insects one by one as he grabbed them by their wings, rubbing defeat in their dumb little faces. Rendered helpless within his grasp, the mosquitoes cried and begged for their lives, but he refused to listen. Instead, the man removed his gauntlet and plunged the mosquito by its beak straight into his arm. Then he squeezed their body like an eyedropper, all his stolen blood flowing back into his vein, where they belong. And he did this until he collected every last drop, but he still felt angry and hollow. He needed more. He looked around before he spotted another swarm, keeping their distance from the man consumed by vengeance. He smacked his lips in delight before charging headlong towards his next target. I'm a mold of your penis and this has been another episode of Animal Facts. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more factual animal facts. Have a wonderful animal day.